While making this work, I looked at a lot of pictures. I also collected a lot of pictures. And then finding out who are these people that have photographs. I'd go to flea markets, went on eBay, and I would gather these objects and just look at them and think about this medium, about what it means to be a photographer and the different ways in which photographs live in the world. This desire to memorialize life when life is just gonna keep whipping on by. For me, photography has always been this physical act. It's carrying this big box out into the world and trying to capture this image on this sheet of film, this substance that, I, that has to be developed. And one of the things I started thinking about is the weight of these pictures, the accumulated weight of them as they sit in my archive and as they sit out there in the world. And I found this, this person uh, in Los Angeles who sold photographs by the pound. And I thought, wow, that's how strange. <laughs> and it's like selling fish or something. And I started thinking about like, how much does a photograph weigh? For me, it does have a weight and it has an accumulated weight. And one of the things that I wanna communicate in this exhibition is the feeling of that weight, the weight of history, the weight of time. Hello. Hi. Sorry for interrupting oh, no, you. you're all good. Do you mind if I just set my stuff down? Yeah, right you can set somewhere? wherever. Yeah, so I, I have this big camera and somehow I wanna make a picture of you doing this. So when I'm working, one of the goals is to sort of pay attention to my own attention, I guess. It's almost like Buddhist practice, you know, and it's see what's, see where my eyes are going and try to not let it pass unrecognized. And so I'm driving through the world or walking through the world and I see a person and it catches my attention. And, and taking a moment to stop and think, why is that happening? Why am I drawn to that? And, and do I want to go further with that and encounter this person? One of the things I was doing on this project was often seeing something that would evoke work I've made in the past. So for example, one of the pictures I made in this project is at Niagara Falls. And I went to Niagara Falls because I did a whole project at Niagara Falls in the past. But then, Later, working on the same project, I was in Detroit, and I was at a, a, a little beach in Detroit. And I was walking along, this woman passes, uh, and it was like that thing clicked in. And it was very much evocative of a picture I'd made you know, 15 years ago in Niagara Falls. And I allowed myself to meet this person. Of course, it's totally different context, totally different individual, but to sort of be attentive to what's really catching my interest and trusting that there's value there. I've often thought of photography as, as an art form for loners. At least that's how I got into it. But over time, I realized it's much more collaborative. I want to look at you. And, and I want to have this encounter and, and also to sort of honor the person, say you're worthy of attention and it's awkward but beautiful and trying to approach my photographic practice in that spirit. Mm -hmm.